Hey, how's it going? Long time no see. Thanks for stopping by. Just sitting here watching some TV, looking for some MMA. Not much on. I did get a cool interview the other day with Jeremiah Metcalf though, an upcoming MMA fighter. You ought to check out the clip. Hey Jeremiah, thanks for coming out tonight. No problem, thanks for having me. Hey, you know what? Tell the fans a little bit about yourself, a little bio, you know, where'd you grow up? You know, what'd you do as a kid? I grew up in uh, Modesto, California, right here. Uh, a little bit over in Empire. Played sports all my life, started wrestling when I was nine. Um, got in football, skateboarding, It's like being a normal kid. Were you kind of a naturally rowdy kid? Um, I was a little rambunctious. I wouldn't say too too bad, you know. Not, not a lot of not a street fights, not too much in there. You know, most of my fights actually came from my little brothers getting into stuff with people and just protecting them. I've never had my own street fights. So when did you start fighting and when did you get in the sport of MMA? After I heard high school, you know, I was wrestling. I still have uh, keys to a few high schools around and me and my buddies used to go to and roll around. Well, you know, every night we'd just go get a little, just work out in. And just one night happened to not have no buddies to go roll around. I was, you know, itching to get a little workout in. So walked down to Team Voodoo over there and when it was down here in Modesto. And went in there and tried some kickboxing, some Muay Thai, and got into that. And from there, learned Muay Thai, with my wrestling background, and just kind of grew from there from the MMA. So uh, tell the fans a little bit about your transition from an amateur fighter uh, to a professional fighter. How did it happen? Well, what happened, uh, I was an uh, amateur Muay Thai. Is what I, I mean, I didn't, wasn't even sure what mixed martial arts was then when I first went in there. Was uh, doing pretty good. I was five and zero. Had titles, amateur titles at Muay Thai. And a uh, guy fell out of a fight one night. Um, just or about probably about a week before the fight, he backed out of a broken foot or something. And a uh, manager came up to me, said, uh, "Got a professional mixed martial arts fight in two weeks. Uh, do you want to take it?" Guy's four and zero. He's a black belt jiu jitsu. We wouldn't even know what jiu jitsu was. <laughs> So I went in there and was like, yeah, definitely, I'll take it. He told me a little bit about what the sport was and fell in love with it. What attributes do you feel is most important at, for a fighter in achieving you know, the level of success that you've seen? Determination and just your workouts and all the stuff that goes behind it. What inspires you to carry on in such a tough sport that seems to be getting tougher and tougher by the day? Being so competitive, I'd have to say. Uh, I'm always competitive, I've got to win at everything I do. Playing cards, no matter what we're doing. Whatever we're doing, I got to win. And I think that's what pushes me, you know, just to be better at everything. Like right now, I'd say the hole in my game probably is jiu-jitsu. So I, mm -hmm. I train jiu-jitsu all the time, just because I know that's where the hole is. But Muay Thai, my stand-up's great. And so by all, all the people now and that are out there, you got to know how to fight that person, each person. So right. you kind of go in there. If he's a wrestler, I gotta, I gotta kickbox this wrestler. You know, mm -hmm. if, he, mm -hmm. if he's you know a kickboxer, I gotta take him down and beat him up on the ground for just as right. I go. So you gotta be well rounded all the way around. Now is that kind of you know where your strategy came in when you fought Raymond Daniels? You know, I saw you came in and, and obviously you had more of a wrestling approach to, to fighting him. You know, was that your game plan from from the start? But you know, I mean, obviously it probably was. But you know, one thing I want to point out is that awesome that awesome punch that you landed on Raymond Daniels when you came in uh, in the second round. I mean, you decked that guy. He, he wasn't, he was just not, he just was not expecting that. High level striker, waiting for a guy to come and wrestle him. He got, he got socked and he got socked hard. Tell us a little bit about that fight and uh, you know, what your approach was and, and why you decided to stand with him in the second round. Well, Raymond Daniels, he's, you know, everybody knows who he is. I mean, he actually fought a year prior to that real good friend of mine, training partner, George and Tagliago, and dominated him standing up. And you know, George is a boxer and he's, you know, karate kid. He dominated him. I've watched his videos, I know what to do. I knew I could beat him on the ground with my wrestling background. And then coming out of the second round, that's just a wrestler's over the top. Shoot a double, throw it over the top same time. Either they're gonna try to block the shot, eat the punch, or they're gonna try to block the punch or get taken down. Either which one, they had to get the pick. It's their choice. <laughs> <laughs> that time you ate the punch. Yeah, that time you ate the punch. <laughs> Jeremiah Metcalf doesn't feel pain. Remember that. What are your goals as a professional mixed martial arts fighter, and where do you see yourself in two years from now? 
Uh, my goals are just uh, go fight by fight. Uh, that's I like it, you know, just fight as every fight. You know, that's what is my main fight. That that's the biggest fight of my career right now. In a couple of years, hopefully, that doing it like this, that I get into a bigger show. As you know, I mean, I fought for Strike Force, uh, a couple of big shows. I want to. WC and Strike Force, I think, is where I want to go. I like Strike Force has good contracts. They pay the probably the best. They're probably not well known as UFC, but I think they pay better. Are there any techniques that you feel were, you know, especially helpful for you in bringing you to your level as a mixed martial artist? I Me, mean, I'd have to say my my sprawling from uh, wrestling, the good technique, just re wrestling all around, just the hips that it gives you. Just your uh, dominating positions, how how to, to to drive through something when they explode and everything just wrestling all together. So, tell us a little bit about you know what music you like. What do you like to bump when you're when you're walking towards the cage and you're getting ready to get in there and, and have it out with an opponent? Me, it's uh, pretty surprising, but I listen to country mostly. <laughs> That's uh, what I always listen to. I mean, for all my playlists, there's a little more upbeat stuff, you know, but it's still country. Um, and then I got my Pantera in there. I always, always listen to Pantera. So they're as long as I can remember. So, and we all know MMA is a dangerous sport. What injuries have you sustained throughout your career? All kinds of bruises. Uh, fought Jamie Hart. Very first punch I threw broke my hand. You know, I kept kept fighting, but you know, with a broken hand and knee problems just from working out. Never really anything too much in the fights. Mm -hmm. This is training for the fights. <laughs> you get that's where all your muscle injury. I mean, I've been injured twice so far in a fight, and not even that bad. Besides the broken hand, but other than that, the in injuries you get from training just every night is something. Usually, depends on how hard you train. Some people don't train that hard. I like to train really hard. I push myself to the limits. So yeah, you get a lot of injuries, cuts, bruises, you know. Ligaments, problems, muscles, torn muscles, that's a big one from training. So. Now, is that something that's bothering you when you're going into your fights and stuff? I mean, are you yeah. feeling your knee in there, or are you just so psyched on, you know, what's going on that all that's behind you? No, you never feel it. I've never felt an injury. I've gone in there with a, like before I popped ACL the week uh, before a fight, and it popped a pretty back. I walk on it, went into the fight, and you didn't feel a thing, so. As a professional mixed martial artist yourself, who do you consider to be the top level fighters today? I mean, who's the best in the world? Is it is it GSP? Is it BJ Penn? Is it Fedor? Is it Anderson Silva? I think uh, the best fighters is going to be Anderson Silva and GSP. Anderson Silva just impressed me with his, his striking abilities for with any part of his body, his percentage that he actually lands, which is way up there. But uh, I'd say GSP is probably the yeah, best fighter in my view. He's an all round athlete. He can take the fight anywhere he wants. Guy never even wrestled in high school or anything and just picked it up like, like that, just out of nowhere. He's just a fast learner. He's a good athlete. If you could fight anyone on the planet today, right here, right now, who would it be? I'd have to say GSP just to see where I was at because in my eyes, he's probably one of the best fighters there is. Just talent wise, technique, athletic. You know, and I'd like to, to see where I was at with him, you know. I'm we're in the sport to fight the best. You're not gonna fight people that you don't think you could beat. I mean you just think you're gonna push over. All my fights I I I try to pick fighters that are either undefeated, that's a big thing I like to do, you know, or just people that are ranked up higher than I am, so So in closing, is there anything that you really like to say to your MMA fans? I'd like to tell my fans, you know. Thank you for being out there, supporting us. That's the whole reason we do this. I mean, that's why we make our money is by having you guys out there supporting us along the whole way. You know, buying those tickets, you know, going to see us fight. So I just want to tell you guys thank you and just keep up. I mean, I plan on going up to the top, so stick with me. Well, Jeremiah, thanks for coming out and telling it like it is. All right, thanks for having me. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Jeremiah Metcalf. He's a real cool guy and a promising upcoming MMA fighter. Keep your eyes peeled for his fights. He's currently fighting with Cage Combat Challenge, PFC, and hopefully in the near future, Strike Force. Thanks for coming out. Visit us again at www.worldofstreetfighter.com.